Where the hell you been? I'm here. I got us a geese we can do commerce with, and you're out wine tasting. Man wants to play for as much as we got. How much is that? Two thousand. What's the man's name? Bad Hair Wimberly. Bad Hair? Walter, give me another can of that Lone Star penicillin. Is your man spec? Yeah. What's your name, son? Jesse. Jesse what? Just Jesse, from Fort Worth. Ah. Say hello to my ethnic, Walter. Walter's been with my family ever since my daddy hit oil. Ain't that right, Walter? Yes, sir, Mr. Wimbley. <laughs> Call me Mr. Wimbley like that. Old-time ethnics. Those that makes me laugh. <laughs> What'd you call my daddy? Mr. Wimbley's. And where is Mr. Wimbley's these days? I got the finest parents a man could hope for. Rich and dead. <laughs> well, here I am. Anybody gonna try and pluck this chicken? You're just gonna stand around and watch me bob my head. I don't see no keep-off signs on my man. I hear you're a 10 from the tips, Mr. Uh, I call you bad here. Yeah, not to my face, by God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you. What is your first name? Hubert. Hubert? Yeah, well, maybe you better call me bad here. What kind of game are we talking about, Hubert? I tee up any place, and I use the grease. Now, that's what I told Spec. What have you got me into? Hey, excuse us a minute, Mr. Bad. Money ain't nothing but a reference for this man. He likes to give it away. He uses the grease spec. Grease don't help a duck hook. I'm Mr. Ben. What Jesse would like to do is play nine holes only. No emergencies. He'll give you four up, three up, two up, one up, and even. For a thousand dollars each way. That's five thousand dollars. Press when you get lonesome. That's ten thousand dollars. What are you doing? Better make some birdies. Hell, that's no money. Might as well stay home and play with my dick. But you got it. Better than shopping with my wife. Hey, I will. All right, Grease. Put some mileage on this mother. <laughs> that's right. Hook some more. Have a good life, you lousy son of a bitch. <laughs> I've had enough runway there for a minute. Walter!
Fuck you and everything you stand for. I've been beat by the best. Palmer at Bay Hill, Torino and Dallas, Ward at Indian Creek. Yeah, that's the way you learn to play golf, boy. Pick on the best. You men need anything else? Yeah, I'd like to bite down on those tits and pray for lockjaw. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, they're the only thing in this town you can't afford. <laughs> There you go, Kenny. You know who he is. Has a rocket horse got a wooden pecker? <laughs> Kenny Lee, white man, 32. I don't know if the tour more times and bad grip. If you knew who I was, why'd you play me? Well, I like to see you touring pros gamble with your own cash. Anybody can go out there and play for that TV money. You shrewd devil. You just wanted a golf lesson. You should have upped a fee. Yeah. How far do you think that cash will take you? Oh, this should get me through the next three tournaments. Yeah, you're a player, boy. But you need somebody to take the money pressure off. Somebody like me. The sponsors take half of what you win. The sponsors also pay all the bills. All you have to do is play golf and eat steak. I got connections. I can get you exemptions. Get you into Palm Springs, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, I'll talk it over with my wife if I still have one. She's not a golf fan. You know, it's too bad your wife don't like golf. You want my advice? I'll take any advice I can get where Beverly's concerned. Get rid of her. I can get there if I call Jeff a three-wood. Three wood won't hurt you. Might fuck up your score, but it won't hurt you. I need a birdie. What we need is to play it safe. Lay up left. Hit an iron so we can make the damn cut with all the money winners. <sighs> Give me the three wood. Get up, baby. Get, get up one time. Caught in the heel. Fuck it. How long will it take you to pack? I never unpack. <laughs> Can you make it to the clubhouse, boy? Dead solid. Perfect. I'll see you in three hours. What do you think you're doing? Beverly? Get out of here. Sure. Ken? Who's this guy? Well, I believe that's the man in the room next to ours, Ken. Oh. Sorry. Sleepwalker. Don't. I'm mad at you. <laughs> you mad at me. on the tour that can't make a putt. Why don't you quit? You said you could get that club job. 
Anybody can sell sweaters, give lessons to fat ladies, lead a normal life, give up. At least you wouldn't have to worry about paying the rent while you're trying to fade a high three iron to get close for a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> You've been reading. Small effort on my part to save the marriage. God, honey, I hate to make you live like this. I don't mind living like this. Just no fun when you lose, Ken. I lose all the time. Take me someplace romantic. Friends of yours? I'm a friendly guy. <laughs> Ask Katie Bear. Oh, she's great. Yeah, out buying out Palm Canyon. Old MasterCard won't have no souls left on his shoes when she's finished dancing oh. with him. <laughs> hey, did a guy call you? Guy? Yeah, hey, about the Powermore spot. Powermore? And I recommended you for an endorsement. 25 big ones. I can't believe he didn't call. No, no, nobody called, but thanks anyway. Hey, Kenny. Hey, let's have dinner while y'all are here. Bev, why don't you and Katie Beth put it together, all right? Sure. Fairways and greens part. Fairways and greens. Donnie. Yeah, good old Donnie. He'll always be there when he needs you. Get up. Get up. You get to a happy life, Kenny. Wife, you don't take no shit from. <laughs> Ooh. I tell you one thing. If Katie Beth wasn't here, I'd take that little dumpling to the Bible studies group tonight. <laughs> Sorry I gave up on the last two holes. It was so windy. How'd you finish? That low, huh? Seventy fucking four. Well, that's not so bad. That's just too over par. See how I'm learning? No, it wouldn't be so bad if 73 was the best score, but uh, Watkins happened to shoot 66, uh, Jacobson happened to shoot 67, and about 20 other guys happened to shoot 70. Missed it from three feet on 12, uh, four feet on 13. Took a one iron on 17 and bored a hole through the wind, and I blew a fucking six foot birdie putt. I saw a deer today. A what? dashed out of the mountains and then just ran right across the fairway. Fuck a deer. Fuck a deer dashing out of the mountains and running across the fairway. Fuck Palm Springs. Fuck the desert. Fuck golf. Fuck me. Does that mean I should start getting ready for dinner? Well, I'd like to propose a toast to my newest acquisition. A player who's about to realize his potential. Here's the Kennedy. Here, here. Oh, here, here. oh you're gonna love being daddy's acquisition. <laughs> <laughs> so generous? <laughs> oh, anyway, 
so there we were in what we thought was Atlanta's finest hotel in an elevator filled with colors. Honey, I'd uh, like you to refer to them as ethics. What happened was we stumbled into an ethic convention. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine how we felt. Yeah, there now, and that's citizens like everybody else. Oh, now, Daddy, you gave that hotel manager a piece of your mind. I know that. Well, my complaint was not against the ethics. The manager should have warned us. I mean, that was my point. It was a question of uh, common decency. I presume Blue Cross covered everything? How's that, honey? Well, you must have been in the hospital for weeks after an experience like that. <laughs> well, well, I believe we got a liver on our hands. Better bring out the tar and feathers. Oh, Mr. Bad, I have to agree with Bev. I mean, the blacks aren't half as big a problem as the Orientals. Hell, the other day I was driving behind one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, honey. This is your life, Kenny Lee. These are your friends. You know, babe, if I didn't know you better, I'd have swear that New York college turned you a shade pink. Oh my God, are you calling me a communist? Well, there's not much difference between a liberal and a commie to me. <laughs> Donnie, about your opinion, ask me if I care. <laughs> Shit, Kenny, no wonder you can't make a putt. Donnie, shut up. Well, I'm in favor of amnesty for America. It all comes down to that, actually. <clears throat> Go ahead, Kenny. You don't want to be branded a Bolshevik. But cool it. I don't have to cool it. I've got a little self-respect left. Not to sit here quietly while a bunch of backward bigots insults me and everything I think is decent. I'm sorry you're not as offended by these lovely people as I am. It's been great, gang. I'll be sure to think about y'all next time somebody mentions the new South. Beverly, sit down here, please. Kate, I gotta go see Boris and drop off the microfilm. Okay. Sorry we spoiled your dinner. Not spoiling my dinner. Mm. This asparagus real crisp. What do you think you're doing? Going back to Fort Worth. Worth. Without me, you can do the two things you like best. Make putts and hang out with the assholes. Beverly, you should have laughed. I mean, you can't change those people. Oh, yeah, right. Laughing is what got me this far. I was being insulted and you just sat there. I don't want you to go. All you want is a tee shot in the fairway and a warm body at night. And I notice there are a lot of those around. Oh, you're really pissing me off. Good. Maybe you'll play better. Are we talking divorce here, huh? Is that what you want? I want a life, Ken! I mean, my God! I'm just in your gallery right now. And it's really boring. Fairways and greens, Ken. Yeah. Night practice, my favorite. You and Beverly fight? How'd you know? Who are the biggest gossips on the tour? 
caddies. <laughs> How you feel? Great. I ever show you this? Trees on the right, branches over here. You got to keep it low, then get it up. Because there's a trap in front of the green, right? Right. You ain't got but one thing left now. Now, right, you turn your hands over. You'll dress the sucker like it's sand, club on top. Then you close your stance, take a three-quarter swing so the ball will start out low to the left, then get up high and fade. You're a player, Speck. You think Mr. Bad will back me? <laughs> Kenny, I think they're the longest five irons I have ever seen a white man hit. Where the hell did you get those forearms? I think I had polio when I was a kid. <laughs> Did you see that? Huh? Did I see what? Here, darling. You go buy yourself two of everything. Go ahead. What are you doing here, bad air? I come to give you a pep talk. I want you to start thinking about that National Open. Nobody wins the Open. And you. Forget history. Play golf. You know why people lose the Open? They get in contention, they start thinking about Bobby Jones, Ben Hogan, that immortality business. Instead of hitting golf shots, they start shaking like a hound dog shitting peach seeds. <laughs> Choking, I believe, is what they call it. You gotta get yourself a swing you can rely on. A repeating swing. Yeah, just... Take that club back slow and low. <laughs> Let the club head do the work. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. God damn, I keep doing that. I didn't hurt you, did I, darling? <laughs> I gave her the week off. Go ready to study for finals. You know, work on my term theme. <laughs> Doctor, three J and B's shots, please. What happened to you on 17? I made a snowman. <laughs> you don't make an eight on 17 unless you're really trying. I went left and, and on three. Putting. You know, the darnest thing happened, I was standing over my my second putt, it was just a, a tap in, and I looked at my shoes, and I wondered why I'd worn that pair. Well, I've said on numerous occasions, the proper footwear is the key to low scoring. Things distract me, I don't know. Mm. Ah. I'm gonna go chat with those junior leaguers. Rover, you're staring. You know how I esteem women of maturity? You will excuse me, Ken. more often. You're too tan to be a salesman. I play golf. Hmm. 
for a living? Kenny Lee. Janie Rimmer. Are you famous? Almost. The biggest change in equipment was from Hickory to Steel. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Hogan's Apex Shack was real breakthrough, too. <laughs> if I came out tomorrow, would I get to see you? Sure, yeah. You could watch me play. You could have some lunch. Sit around with the rich folks. Are you married? It's all right if you are. Well, I think I'm married. My wife's not. Mm. Really smoking that driver today, Kenny Lee. <laughs> Easy game. Nobody like that. I just want to get her naked, lay down beside her, look over every now and again, and call her a bitch. You always were a silly old romantic spec. <laughs> Oh, appreciate it, Lindy. Oh, have you uh, met my niece? No, not yet. Yeah, well, this isn't her. <laughs> oh, that's quite an unusual sight. What do you mean? I'm seeing my name up there. You're six. Yeah, it ought to be worth about 20 grand. $20,000. Mm-hmm. Yeah, winner gets 180. All right, you're teasing me. No, no, we do this kind of thing every week. It's operating a crane, doesn't it? What would you do if I told you that I wanted you to go to Florida with me this week? Maybe a few other places. Um, I'd say I'd go. What about your job? the golf tour, Janie. It requires a lot of hanging around oceans, resorts, fancy restaurants. <laughs> Movie stars. <laughs> rich people. Your wife is a fool. Sometimes I play bad. 
Sorry, do I? It's Beverly Rich. Well, my daddy had a saying. Never feel sorry for anybody who's got more money than you. Thirsty to drink kale pick to you. You know I don't like practice grover. You can't bet on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Donnie's been keeping me company. He told me he holds the tour record for making out with Lady Courtesy car drivers. <laughs> in my youth, I'd say. Eight or nine in Akron alone, wasn't it? Yeah, Akron doesn't even count. <laughs> well, I tell you one thing, Pard. You can't ever take Janie to Europe. <laughs> Why? Well, you could never get those things through customs. Tony, God. <laughs> hey, listen, what, what do you guys think about me switching to a, a rear shaft putter? You know, I was reading somewhere that no great putter ever used a, a center shaft. Hogan wasn't bad. Well, Hogan was a better player than he was a putter. <sighs> well, I don't give a damn what you use, Grover, as long as it gets your ass around the golf course faster. I don't suppose y'all don't mind if I skip the golf seminar. Yeah. Mm. 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 We that slow? Slow? There was an entire hole open between you and O'Grady. I had to wait on every shot. I and mean, you ought to get a two-stroke penalty just for waking up in the morning. Well, it didn't seem to affect your game any. You only shot 67. Yeah, well, it could have been a 62. <laughs> well, who the fuck are you, his brother? You never cared before. I'm his friend. He's out there every week trying to make the cut while you're in a TV pairing, so just shut the fuck up. One decent tournament and you're giving orders? <laughs> oh, man. There's a hundred of you guys on this tour that don't do a damn thing but get in the way. Well, gosh, Tony, I'm sorry we're that slow. <laughs> You're such a phony asshole. I mean, if Jack Nicholas walked into a restaurant and didn't say hello to you, you'd pout for a week. Hey, cool it, will you? These people know who I am. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know who you are. I used to. You know, Beverly did fuck up your head, didn't she? Yeah, and what fucked yours up, huh? The cover of Sports Illustrated? And just leave Beverly out of it. Just stop it. There might be a sports ride around here. I don't think so. If there was, Donnie would have gone down on him by now. <laughs> you know, this is a perfect example of why you're a loser, man. No composure. Excuse me. You. The only thing I miss about golf. Now that is not true. Now, I thought we'd get drunk here first mm -hmm. and then go search for the perfect enchilada. How long you in town for? Well, I'm here through the colonial. Uh, don't get too Tuesday, I guess. So, who's this guy? First things first, Margarita. Lachaim. He's uh, gorgeous, 37. Went to Yale. Cordon Bleu chef. Has his own plane. And absolutely nuts about me. Oh, well, what's he do? He's a shrink. How'd you meet him? Well, I figured I should see somebody being depressed about Ken and all, so. I mean, isn't that um, unethical? About halfway through the first hour, he stopped, wrote the name of another doctor down on a card, handed it to me, said I seemed very well adjusted to him, and could we have dinner? <laughs> yeah. Tell me about Ken's trusty sidekick. I know she's 50 and has facial hair. What else? <laughs> She doesn't mean anything to him. Is she interested in opera? There are temptations all around them when they're on the road alone, Bev. The Janies come and go. How's Donnie stable these days? Good old Mr. Shy Likeable. Well, he still sees Linda, the stewardess in L.A., 
and Vicki in Fort Lauderdale. She's a um, waitress at the Candlelight Club. And, of course, there's the old standby Betsy in Palm Springs, the singer. Jesus, Katie. It's nice being in the presence of a true saint. I love him. It's called working in a marriage. One way or another, I'm going to see Kenny when he comes to play at Colonial. I just want to tell him I'm sorry it didn't work out. I want us to stay friends. Is that weird? Hmm. Is that all you want? Hell yes. I'm going home. If our food don't get his supper by 6 o'clock, it turns into a real werewolf. Why, that sweet thing wouldn't do that. He's the best dancer at the club. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to register. Are you in the tournament or the Wednesday Pro-Am? Tournament. I'm Ken Lee. Mm. Oh, here you are. Found you quicker than Ben Crenshaw. Tournament couldn't run without volunteers, ma'am. Well, here's your souvenir kit, your rules. Some useful information about our city. This is your parking sticker, your ticket to the Friday night barbecue, two guest badges. Is your wife with you? Uh, no. Oh, you'll probably have one by Thursday. Here's her ticket. I'm Claire Buckley, and I certainly hope you got your ball real good this week. I was a great cook. You never noticed it. Like anything, unless it's brown and white. I like pinto beans, they're maroon. What does Janie like to cook? I was wondering when we we're gonna get around to Janie. Is she permanent? Is my putter? I don't know. She's just a girl who's never been anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm I know that taking her out in public isn't very flattering to you, Beverly, but uh, you are the one who left. So. Jane just, just turned up. And um, all in all, I have to say my behavior has been pretty honest. I didn't say commendable, but pretty honest. Yeah. What about this guy you're seeing? I mean, is that... Who said I was seeing anybody? Katie Beth, she, she told me that you'd been uh, dating. Are you jealous? No, no, I'm not jealous. It's, you know, I'm still married to you, legally at least. <clears throat> Kenny, it's none of your business. Now, what is that? I mean, you know everything there is about Janie. Look, what? I can't help it if you put Janie on parade. Maybe I deserve it, but... I'm not going to throw it back in your face. What? You wouldn't break a hundred if you saw me with another man. <laughs> I wouldn't break a hundred. What are you, kidding? Admit you're jealous. I'm not jealous. I mean, I don't care what you do. You're the one who walked out on me. <sighs> My mistake. Yeah. So let me ask you a question. What did you tell Janie you were doing today? <laughs> Practicing. Mm -hmm. Mistress gets lied to, first sign of trouble. Let's stay in touch, okay? Like pals? Like pals.
got a two-stroke lead. Jacob comes two back. Watkins three. I'll win this thing if I don't dog it tomorrow, Spec. I'll bring a can of Alpo just in case. <laughs> Hey, Pard, hell of a tournament you got going. Yeah. yeah. I'd just like to wish you luck for tomorrow. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. Hey, you deserve a win, Kenny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I hope you people haven't driven all the way up here to watch me shoot my temperature tomorrow. Oh, no, I had to do some shopping anyway. Where do you shop? North America. <laughs> I think that we ought to drink a toast to Kenny. He's doing so good. A toast is when it always gets him at the White House. You come into the world naked and bare. You go through the world with worry and care. You leave the world you know not where. But if you're a thoroughbred here, you'll be a thoroughbred there. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you, Dad, here. Kenny, you can win that tomorrow if you... Go with your body turn. Is that all I need to know about the golf swing is go with the body turn? <laughs> well, if you go with your hand, you're going to wind up with mustard on your shirt. <laughs> oh, daddy. <laughs> hey, is that your wife there? Oh, why, yes, it is, in fact, the former Miss Beverly Tidwell. Well, what the hell is Beverly doing with another man? Oh, Kenny's with another woman. The hell he is. He's with you. That's different. Well, I'd be interested in hearing just what that difference is. Wouldn't everyone else? Kenny's leading a golf tournament. He doesn't need any anxieties. We don't know anything about that man. Well, hi, gang. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Bernard Glotzer. Hebrew. That's right. Bernie, this is Mr. and Mrs. Wimberly. Uh, my husband, Ken. Hi, Ken. Hello. Nice to meet you. I played right behind you the other day in the Pro-Am. I was playing with John Mahaffey. Oh, yeah, John Mahaffey. He's quite a guy. Yes, he is. And this must be Janie. Hi, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Well, she's not wearing corrective shoes. But I guess you must have been joking when you told me that. Stupid me, I didn't get it. Beverly, <laughs> you can think what you want to about me and Kenny. But I have no stamp on him. You walked out. Kenny and me are in love. And I don't know what you've got in your mind by coming in here. I think you ought to know something. Janie Ruth Rimmer wouldn't give the road to a bear. Well, you didn't tell me she talked like Princess Di. Well, I'll buy a round of drinks so I can find me an ethnic. That's it. Beverly, you know, it is unfortunate the way I talk. Damn, I just plum forgot to get born in a Harvard sperm bank. Oh, I like her. I, uh... I think we better take this to the room. Come on, Janie. Come on, Janie. Bad hair, mm -hmm. Rita. It was very nice meeting you. Some women have a hard time dealing with it, Beverly. With what? Kenny's just a man is all. He can't help it if he likes air travel, pretty girls, and happiness. I'm sorry. Has anybody got a pen? I have got to write that down. Ooh. Grover! From Fort Worth, Texas, please welcome Kenny Lee. That's my boy, Speck. Which boy is that? Kenny. He's my boy. <laughs> Looks like your boy didn't get his rest last night. From Portland, Oregon, 1984 colonial champion, Peter Jacobson. Jacobson made his putt. Kenny missed his putt. 
I thought Kenny would pick up a stroke on Jacobson. Now Jacobson pick up a stroke on him. It's all over. Well, it's only the first hole, honey. Uh, uh, it's an omen. God decided. Why? He don't like golf. I've known it for years. we learned here today, Spec. You want to win, you got to play golf. I wanted to win. No. You wanted them to give it to you while you went for a stroll in the country. I don't think of it as punishment for you, Janie. I think of it as getting my ass out of town. You made me pack in five minutes. We could have had a nice dinner with Donnie. He's still your friend. We could have slept late. You'd still get to Las Vegas in time to practice for two whole days. When the tournament's over, you just want to get out of town. Right, Speck? Well, burn rubber. I don't think I've ever seen you play any better. Of course. That don't mean shit if you don't get your head screwed on straight. Oh, I don't worry about it. I do worry about it. I've been quiet all this time. But it occurs to me that nobody is getting through to you. I got a stake in this, too. Well, say what you got to say, Speck. You got as much natural talent as any man on the tour but you don't have the heart for the game. Maybe that's something you're born with. Maybe it's something you can learn. But at present, you're no good to yourself, me, or anybody else. Are you finished? Yeah. I think so. Soda? Give me a whiskey. On the rocks? No, double shot straight up.
another drink. Oh, thank you. I'm fine. Want to dance? Yeah. Thinking of Beverly. Play golf. Championship of the United States Golf Association at Heavenly Pines Country Club. Competition will be conducted over 72 holes of stroke play. Gentlemen, lay away. Mr. Kenneth Lee has returned a score of 68 today and is now our leader of the Open Championship. Well, <clears throat> first of all, I 
want to say how happy I am to find out what this place looks like in here. <laughs> I've always wondered. <laughs> uh, the first hole, I, I reached in two and two-putted for a birdie. I busted a drive that got me around a corner. I must have looked like I'd come out doped or something. <laughs> <laughs> What's this guy's shot was a one-iron. Unknown. Never got any higher off the ground than a little Unknown leads farm. open. I've been on and off the tour for about eight years. One of the POWs. We'll break out occasionally, but Norman or Nicholas will usually catch us and put us back in the box. Donnie Smithern is only one shot back. Now I understand that you two are old friends. <laughs> if it comes down to the last round and both of you are still up there, are you going to be rooting for Donnie if you can't win? And is Donnie going to be rooting for you if he can't win? Well, <laughs> I'm going to be rooting for Nicholas. I think we ought to do all we can for the oppressed minorities in this country. What's wrong with you? I can't decide whether to lay up short of the water again on number four. It's a risky second shot. If it wasn't the open, I'd go for it. Well, you didn't go for a damn thing tonight, that's for sure. I guess it depends on the wind. If the wind's with me, I'll go. Talk to Beth? No, I. I just wonder. Donnie, why? Well, Katie Beth said she was having some tests. Thought you knew. Are you fucking with me? Hey, maybe I got it wrong. It's nothing. It's very common. Katie Beth had one a couple of years ago. That's why I was calling her. Well, why didn't you call me? Well, I was going to when it was over. When will that be? Tomorrow, I hope. You hope? What do you mean? What do you mean you hope? You have to take out the tumor and biopsy it. Tumor? You know, I didn't want to tell you about this because I knew you'd react this way. Well, Beverly, how am I supposed to react? God. positive about this. I don't want to worry you. <laughs> I'm your husband. I'm glad you're playing well. Bev, I mean, you'd, you'd tell me if, if, if you really needed me, wouldn't you? Yeah. I want you to play well tomorrow, okay? I still feel guilty about the colonial. Okay. Call me soon, okay? Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. to be in San Francisco. You're leading the open. I'm staying here till this is over. I'm going home tomorrow. There is nothing you can do here. I can be here. Don't have 
to do this. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. I know it's, it's probably too late, but I want you to know I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize to me. Yeah, I do. I treated you bad. I was selfish. A kid. Anyway, I'm sorry. me <laughs> okay I promise Kenny tell oh, Ken she's okay what time is it 9.30 Performed the operation, and it was benign. She's okay? Yeah. She's fine. Why don't you go see her now? No, no, wait. I'm... I'm not here. I left last night, all right? I'll tell her you called. Okay. Mr. Lee isn't here in three minutes. He'll be disqualified. He'll be here. Sorry. Wait a minute. Is your mom all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's fine, just a little.
tough today, Keith. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Bob. Well, the Lord knows how hard I've worked to get to this open. He knows how many practice shots I've hit. I said to him just the other day in a prayer that it'd be a crying shame for me not to do as much with my God-given talents as I could. I'd like to thank my wife, Katie Beth, too. She's been terrific also. Kenny Lee is still with us, Don. He's like a strange rash this open can't seem to get rid of. Well, those last three holes showed me something, Keith. But tomorrow is going to be the toughest round of golf that Kenny Lee's ever played. He'll be paired with Donnie Smithern, a man who knows how to win, who's been there before. And this is the U.S. Open. In the last round, the bullets do tend to fly. Well, thanks, guys. That's great. Hey, you want to see the kind of guy you're playing tomorrow? Oh, Jesus. This is hilarious. Angie, you want to throw up the cinema verite? I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the chick, Kenny? Huh? Nobody, right? <sighs> I guess they're all over you everywhere you play. <laughs> so what do you think of your buddy, huh? He's one of the best operators we have out there. Yeah, it's uh, kind of obvious. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, super out, Matt, bumper, music, and go to black. <laughs> I don't have to take these kind of accusations from anybody. Me and Donnie is slipping around that is such a pile of crap. You should really consider being an actress, Janie. Tell if they had a goddamn cornbread making machine. Where did you say you were last Friday afternoon while I was out on the practice tee? I went to the museum. Donnie's not that old. What gets me is that you would take somebody else's word over mine. Janie, they have it on tape. You and Donnie over in the trees by number 12 last Friday afternoon. I saw it. I saw it all. Here. This will take you somewhere. I'm gonna bunk with Grover tonight. What kind of TV movie thing are you talking about? Something that the network taped by accident. A man and a woman on a golf course? Doing it? Yeah, more or less. And you think the woman in that movie was me? You know, the saddest thing about this vicious rumor is that it's about Donnie Smithers, who's not just a major celebrity, but your good friend. Goodbye, Janie. Kenny? There's so many ants. Too many. Too many little things. Beverly? It's me. Sorry I woke you. No, I'm, I'm glad you called. I'm doing good. That's good. I saw you made it back, barely. That was a crazy thing to do. Um, I played good today. Shot out 69. In second place. Yeah, I know. You're dressing better, too. What, have you been watching? Oh, well, yeah. Still married to you. Legally, at least. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my putter in bed with me. That's a first, huh? <laughs> Janie must love that. Well, Janie lost her scholarship. So soon, damn. I had six months in the pool. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? <laughs> mm. 
I'm afraid of fucking everything up. I'm ending up with nothing. <sighs> Finding out that everyone was right about me all along. That I'm a, I'm a loser. You're not a loser. You're not gonna fuck up tomorrow. The open seems like such a small thing compared to losing you, Beverly. Tomorrow's an experience you're gonna have the rest of your life, Ken. No matter what happens. Most people never even get close to the top of their profession, even for a day. You relish it, love. You hear me? Ken? Tell you one more thing before bad hair does. That goddamn U.S. Open trophy ain't gonna look bad on the hood of that car. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> back in. Should have gone to Philadelphia, Grover. When you miss a cut, you move on. Remember? I know. I couldn't miss seeing this thing live, though. Hell, Kenny. This is a history deal, bud. I'll see you out there. All right. How's he doing? He's ready. Give him one word of advice, I'll burn down your mansion and marry your daughter. <laughs> yes, yeah, Beck. I do believe we got him prepared, huh? Excuse me. Hey, Kenny. I want to wish you luck. I might not see you for a while. What, Janie? You know. Yeah. I spoke to her this morning. She actually believed that Donnie was getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I think I convinced her that she's standing in a very long line. He doesn't have any idea he's never fooled you, does he? He doesn't even know he's an asshole. Well, we may as well act like professionals. Good luck, Kenny. Piss on luck. Final twosome of the day. From Houston, Texas, and the leader of the Open, Donnie Smithard. <laughs> and from Fort Worth, Texas, Kenny Lee. Gentlemen, play away. I've been hitting drives all day for you people. I think I'll hit this one for myself. <laughs> it's just me and that guy over there. I never liked that guy.
a good time to start. Now? Keith, if Kenny Lee ever wanted anything in his life, it's this putt on the 16th hole for a birdie, which would put him one back of Donnie Smither. This is what they call a character builder, I believe. <laughs> I'd rather look at a cobra than that eight-foot putt. Smithers made a good out and can save par with that six-foot putt, but Lee can catch him with this 20-foot birdie attempt. It's uh, uphill and should break to his left, Keith. He's got to be firm, but there would be a tendency for him to be a little timid at this length, wouldn't you say? And Kenny Lee doesn't have much of a reputation as a putter, does he, Don? Well, he's putted pretty well in this open. Where do you like it? Split the right edge, then I can take you home. Smithern now needs this putt on 17 to hold a share of the lead with Kenny Lee at 7 under. This has got to rank with the greatest finishes in U.S. Open history. Kenny Lee! Birdieing 15, 16, and 17 to catch Donnie Smithern at the 71st hole.
Well, Donnie Smithern can heave a sigh of relief. He's going back to his bag for a fairway wood, Don. He's just interested in keeping the ball in play. While Smithern's drive couldn't be more perfectly placed, Kenny Lee's really couldn't be any worse off. He's on the hard pan with trees directly in front of him, Don. Let me have a five iron. Speck, you showed me the shot. I can get there. Lee would have to hit the ball down low under those branches. Fade it almost at a 45 degree angle around the trees and then get it to rise to clear the bunkers to the right of the green. That's an almost impossible shot, Keith. It's not over yet, Keith. There's still about 20 feet of real estate left to determine the champion. Donnie could have won it right there, Keith. I thought he had. We'll be back tomorrow for a playoff. Should Kenny Lee make it down in two, which he should from this distance, what does his putt look like? Well, this putt, which we can safely say is the biggest of Kenny Lee's career, should break around six inches right off that hill. It's into the grain, but uh, it'll still break very harshly. It's a little shorter, but a lot tougher than Smithern's putt. We've seen a number of players three-putt from there throughout the tournament and a four putt. on the